I'm ZerTapTap, and welcome to Let's Play Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes. This is my beautiful assistant, Rob. Yo. So this is a local or online multiplayer where you game where you play as the bomb diffuser, and Rob is going to be our expert who reads the manual. I can't see the manual, and he can't see the bomb, so pretty much all of the actual gameplay is me talking to him and us trying to figure out how it works. The reason it's supposed to be VR is so to, you know, isolate the one person. Alright, so what is the bomb defusal manual code? Oh, very, oh, oh, uh, so yeah, 241. Two, Version 1. Four, one. So the manual is about 20 pages long, and it describes um, a whole lot of different modules. I'm not quite sure how many. But... Alright, it's just showing me a test bomb here and giving me instructions. Okay. Deset the current module. Rotate. Parker. Parker is player three. He's being very helpful by <laughs> rubbing his face into everything and obscuring half the screen at the moment. Deselect the bomb. Alright, I think the tutorial's over. The way, so every bomb has a five minute timer, so, menu, just take a quick peek at these options, nothing too fancy. And yeah, the, the bomb manual is online and you can print it out if you want. Uh, first bomb. Oh, I guess there's like, there's different sections, so I guess there's different like levels of bombs. Alright, so this is the first bomb, which is pretty easy. Three modules, three strikes. So it's like a module, like a stage for the bomb, I guess? Right, so each module, what is it? Each bomb will include up to 11 modules that must be disarmed. Each module is discrete and can be disarmed in any order. All right, so I got my first bomb. I see a big detonate button that I assume I don't want to see and don't want to press. I've got three wires in the bottom right. One's white, one's yellow, one's black. Okay, so three wires. We can do that one first, because that's in the first of the manual. All so right. three wires. If there are no red wires, cut the second wire. Second from the... Well, I guess it doesn't matter. All right, that one's good. And the other okay. one is like a keypad with four symbols. Okay. Um, that one's going to be complicated, because I need to know which all four symbols before I can tell you the order in which right. you have to press them. One's like the euro symbol, but backwards and with uh, two dots over it. One is that AE okay. thingy. Okay. Um... One is, I think it's a phi, that trident symbol, and then okay. one's an omega, capital okay. omega. Okay, so you're going to press the euro. Alright. Then, then, the then the AE. Alright. Then the trident. Then the omega. Alright. Uh, it's not disarmed. No. There's uh, a detonate button that seems... Oh wait, maybe... I see Bob on the top of the bomb and a battery. Um, serial number, MSA, like there's name tags. Bob is lit up, MSA is not. I don't... Oh, and there's FRK that's also white. Okay. I assume I don't want to press the detonate button. I, I would hope not. FRK. Is it a, like a big round button with just three letters on it? Uh, no, it's not a button. It's like a red, like, name tag sort of thing with a light on one side. I don't seem to be able to select it. Bob. What's our timer at? Uh, three minutes. Is there anything that talks about a module that just has a detonate button? On the subject of the button. If there is more than one battery on the bomb and the button says detonate, press and immediately release the button. Oh, there's two bat there's two batteries, so just press it and immediately release. I guess so. All right, that d disarmed it. <laughs> it's a scary button. All right. It sounds like the second one. Oh, there's. We can pick it. Make our selection of different stuffs. I picked the double your money bomb. Six modules, three strikes. Alright. 
All right, I do get strikes. Um, there's like a hardcore mode where you don't get any strikes, but I'm not gonna play that mode. How many strikes until it detonates? Um, I think three. I'm not sure if you get two or three. Like I'm never sure if the last one counts. All right, whoa, it's a lot of modules. Okay, so I've got three wires again on one. Okay. Uh, there's a red wire though. Okay. Uh, let's see. If there are no red wires, cut the second wire. Otherwise, if the last wire is white, cut that wire. Uh, the last wire is red. Okay. If there are, if there is more than one blue wire, cut the last blue wire. Uh, there's more than one blue wire on the second wire module. So is that safe to cut, or are there more instructions? Yeah, let's let's stick with the module. Okay, the three on. one. All right. So it's white, blue, then red. That's all I got. Okay, white, blue, then red. Uh, so cut the last wire. All right. There's okay. A, there's What's a, the other? Hang on. There's a detonate button again, and okay. there's only one battery. Okay. That's gonna have a different condition. All right. Let's do the other wire module since I'm here in the manual. All right. There are. What is that? Five wires. Okay. Or six wires. Is it five or six? Six. Okay. If there are no yellow wires and the last digit of the serial number is odd, cut the third wire. So the serial uh, number is on the side of the... the yeah, last digit is odd. Okay. The last one is red, so which do I cut? If, if there are no yellow wires... No and yellow. The last, ...and the last digit is odd, cut the third wire. Third wire. All right, that did it. So, um, there's okay. another keypad. It's an upside down question mark, a weird K with like a little accent at the very bottom, a star, and a circle with a line on the bottom. Okay, what was the first one again? Upside down question mark. Upside down question mark. Okay. Upside down question mark, then there's like a K with a little comma at the bottom right. Then there's a star, then there's like Aphrodite's mirror without like a line at the bottom. I don't know what an Aphrodite's mirror is. Uh, the female symbol. Oh, okay. Oh, jeez. Okay. I'll send that question mark, star, Aphrodite. And what was the other one? Um, oh, like K. Was yeah, like a one? weird K with an extra little comma at the bottom right. So there's one, two, three, four. So there's six different groupings of symbols, and I have to find the one that has all those symbols in it. And I don't see. Oh, I see. Okay, okay, okay. So first is the Aphrodite. Okay. Second is the star. All right. Third's the K. Last is a question mark. All right. So there's two buttons. There's a red and a blue detonate button. And there's only one battery. The button is red and the blue? There's a red one and a blue one. Okay. So there's two two separate buttons. Yeah. Okay. What does the other button say? They both say detonate. Well, they both say detonate. Uh... If the button is blue and the button says abort, so that's not true. If there's more than one battery, which you said there's only one battery. Yeah. If the button is white, but it's not. If there are more than two batteries, if the button is yellow, if the button is red, if none of the above apply, hold the button and refer to releasing a held button. Uh, if you start holding the button down, a colored strip will light up on the right side of the module. Based on its color, you must release the button at a specific point in time. Oh god. So We're going to blow up. We only have one minute. <laughs> Oh god. How many other modules are there? Two buttons? Um, the wait, there's a thing. What color do I release the detonate at? I just okay. got like two strikes. What color? We already have two strikes? <laughs> yeah. I oh. tried pressing the button. I don't think oh, this is okay. gonna happen. Uh, what color is the detonate? Uh, red. Oh, it doesn't matter. Okay. Um. Okay. You gotta hold it down and then tell me what color the strip is. Yellow. Release when the countdown timer has a 5 in any position. Okay, but it's 5 seconds, so... <laughs> oh well.
Did we blow up? Yes. Oh. <laughs> what? Oh, we hit five seconds on the timer. The... Yeah. So oh, yeah, geez. no time remaining. Wow. And I probably also got the last strike because I just went and pressed the blue button just in case. Oh. All right. That's crazy. How are you supposed to do an 11 module bomb? <laughs> yeah, that seems pretty. You have to both be really good or something. But that was bomb 2-1, so maybe maybe going out of order is bad. I just went with bomb 2-1. Or that was 2-2. Two, two. All right, so I got a second bomb. Everything's dark. Oh, lights just came on. All right, so I've got six wires again. I've got yellow wires. I've got blue. I've got yellow or white. Okay, so there's yellow wires. Is there exactly one yellow wire? No, two. Are there are no red wires? No red wires. Cut the last wire. All right. And I've got a blue abort button. What do I do with that? Okay, let's see. If the button is blue and the button says abort, hold the button and refer to releasing a held button. So you got to hold it and I'll tell you when to release. All right. It's yellow. Uh, release when the countdown timer has five. Oh, crap. I just missed a five. Okay. So you got to wait till 15, I guess? Yeah, i got to wait. Oh, a few no, more the countdown timer. Right, right. All right. Um, I've got a keypad. Okay. Uh, keypad. Are you sure? What's it? Um, it's got a screen with a big two on it, and then I've got four keys below it. Oh, memory. Okay. So it says two. If the display is two, press the button in the second position. All right. What does the display say now? Three. If the display is three, press the button in the first position. All right. What's it say now? There's one. Five, there's five stages. If yeah. the display is one, press the button with the same label you pressed in stage two. Huh? That's... So you press the first button in stage two, right? Yeah, but that's... Um... All right, now it's a two. Okay. Press the button in the first position. What? I yep. just blew up. Really? Are you sure about the first position? <laughs> also, that that second bomb that we tried was apparently too hard because that one had six modules. This one still has three. Oh. So I think we went too high in difficulty. All right, I've got a red detonate button. I have no batteries. No batteries. Nope. If the button is red, does oh so the, the button says detonate. Uh, yeah. Okay, so you have to hold it, and we'll do the release. Instant release or? No, we're gonna. I gotta tell you what based on the color. All right, it's red. Uh, release when the countdown timer has a one. All right. Okay, we've got three wires: black, white, and blue. White and blue. Three wires, no red wires. No red wires. Cut the second wire. All right, and we've got like a game of Battleship or something over here. Yes. Okay. I know that one. I saw that one. Uh... There's four directions to click on. Are there like little circles? Uh, there's two green circles, a red triangle, and a blue or a white dot. Okay. This, I think, is a maze. Does it, does it have, like, markings that almost makes it look like a maze? Uh, it's just a grid of dots. I've got arrows to move, I assume. Up, down, left, right. Right. Yes. Okay, find image of the matching, matching circular markings. So there should be two little circles on it. So if the bottom dot is, like, zero, zero, you gotta tell me where the circles are. Um, it's zero, two, and... What is that? Six two. Like the very top and very bottom, um, one to the right, or two to the right. Uh, say it again. There's two green circles. Uh huh. Two dots from the right, one at the very top and one at the very bottom. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, 
the diffuser must navigate the white light to the red triangle using the arrow buttons. Is that all? Yes. It's a straight line. I can't go that way. Huh? It's... Okay, there's apparently a maze that I have to navigate, but I didn't... Oh, yeah. Oh, it doesn't show you the markings? No, I. it only shows me when I hit a wall, and those are strikes, so I ended right. up being three strikes. Oh, no. Alright. Got another bomb. Uh, we've got a Rubik's Cube. Or a, oh, it's a... It's a... Um, what do you call that? Um, Simon Says sort of thing, right. I think. It's blinking green. Okay, one of the four color buttons will flash. Using the correct table below, push the button with the corresponding color. The original button will flash, followed by another repeat this sequence in order. Do I just play S Simon Says, or do I have to wait for you? No, it's a green f flash, right? Yeah. Green flash. Okay, does the serial number contain a vowel? Uh, yeah. Vowel. No vowel. Or, yes, vowel. Does contain a vowel. Yep. There's a green flash. We have no strikes, right? No. Okay, you have to press the yellow. Okay. Uh, it just blinked green, then red. Right. Now I think it's a normal game of Simon Says. Eh? It gave me a strike for clicking. I don't get how this works. <laughs> okay, it just blew up the bomb. I don't understand that one. <laughs> so it says... Using so there's like a table of, of combinations based on the the color of the flash, the initial flash, your serial code, your serial number, and whether or not you have any strikes. And oh. that tells you, and that tells you the first one to press. Alright, so I've got three wires. Okay. No red wires. Three wires, no red wires. Uh, so cut the second wire. Alright. We've got a keypad with a weird backwards N. Um, a, la a lowercase lambda, like the half-life symbol. A C, a backward C with a dot in it, and that mirror again. C? Okay. So yeah, mirror, then the lambda, then right. the N, then the C. Alright. Now we just have the, the Simon Says again. Okay. There are no <laughs> vowels. No vowels. And what color is it? Uh, yellow. Yellow. So, first button is red. Okay. It blinked yellow twice. Do I do red, then yellow twice? You know, I don't know. It doesn't say. It says the original button will flash, followed by another. Repeat this sequence in order using the color mapping. Cool. It just keeps blinking yellow twice. So... Alright, this says yellow flash then you press red. So I don't know, maybe press red twice? Alright. Did that work? Looks like it. Two yellows, then a, a blue. Okay, so you're gonna do red, red, then yellow. They still blew up. What the fuck? <laughs> I don't... I don't know. Maybe I pressed it too fast. And this is only a three module bomb. Oh man, there's another Simon Says. Okay, there's, oh god, these symbols. Let's um, try the Simon Says first so we can figure it out. All right, it's doing yellow, it's red. Okay, does the serial number have a vowel? Oh, I should have checked that first. Uh, it does not, fortunately. Okay. Oh, okay, so it's doing yellow then green. So then I guess you click red then green. I think I was just impatient and then activated too early or something. Because um, it didn't give you a strike right now, right? No. Okay. Yellow, green, blue. Okay, so you're going to do 
red, green, yellow. All right, maybe I have to do it in the rhythm that it blinks, I guess. All right, so we've got a smiley face with the tongue out, an X with an eye through it, an upside down P with a fork at the bottom, and um. Where are you seeing this? Um, it's a keypad. Sorry. Um, and we've got something that looks like an octopus sitting at a table. I'm sorry, it's really <laughs> weird. Oh, okay. So go through the symbols again. Smiley face with the tongue out. Okay. A fancy X with an I in the middle of it. An upside down P with a little fork at the bottom of the P. And then there's this thing that's like a tripod, mm -hmm. like a portal sentry with like a bookshelf behind it. Just give me one more time, because I think I have it. Uh, smiley face with tongue sticking out, okay. X with an I in it, upside down P, and uh -huh. the weird thing. Okay, so you're going to do upside down P. Alright. Uh, octopus sitting at a table. Alright. <laughs> uh, the X with an I, and All then right. the smiley face. Alright, now i got six wires. Six got wires. blue, yellow, black. Okay. Only um, one yellow. If there is exactly one yellow wire and there is more than one white wire... No white wires. Okay. Are there no red wires? No red wires. Cut the last wire. Alright. Beautiful. I think that's only two bombs. <laughs> Let's not do well, the double our money one. That one had we, six. Are we two for two right now? Two and for... Two. two and two. Two for four. Yeah, I think so. Or no, that's on... I think we did... I think we blew up more than that. Oh god. Um, let's do... oh crap. These all sound scary. We've got double your money, one step up, and pick up the pace. Those all sound scary. <laughs> uh, let's, let's, let's not do pick up the pace. Yeah, let's do one step... oh! Oh, it tells us! Okay, we've got four modules. Okay. So that sounds more manual. The, double your money is number two, but it has six. That's... Though I'm definitely getting more familiar with, like, like that, um, that Simon Says thing was definitely... Yeah. Oh crap. Okay, that. we've got red abort button and a red hold button. Okay. Two okay. batteries. A red abort button? Yep. Okay, and what was the other one? A red hold button. If the button is red and says hold, press and immediately release. <laughs> Alright, and an abort button? And then the abort is going to be, we're going to have to hold it and look at the strip. Uh, it's red. Uh, release when there's a 1. Alright. Okay, uh, we've got that screen with four keys again. It's a 1. Okay. It's the memory bank. So, if the display is a 1, press the button in the second position. Alright. Uh, what's it say? One. If the display is one, press the button labeled four. All right. Now it's a two. Okay, we're going to press the button in the second position. All right. Three. Okay. Press the button labeled four. All right. Four. Uh, oh shit. Okay. Uh, if the display is four, press the button with the same label you pressed in stage three. Oh crap. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't remember what that was. I don't remember what it was. Uh, I think crap. that it was the uh, button. I pressed I the wrong button. Um, What'd you press? It doesn't matter. It reset. What's one? Okay. Uh, oh, so it reset. Yeah. Uh, button in the second position. All right. You gotta four. tell me what it. Yeah. Uh, it's displays four. Press again the button in the second position. Two. Uh, second position again. All right. 
One. Uh, also the second position. All right. Two. Uh, also the second position. Oh! Uh, it just reset. Really? Yeah, okay. now it's a four. Press the button in the fourth position. Four. Press the button in the fourth position. Three. Press the button in the third position. Four. Press the button in the fourth position. All right. Last one's always a figure out. Three. And press the button in the fourth position. Worked that time. All right. There we go. I've got one of those stupid mazes though. Okay. This is gonna be tough. But now I know. It's the same pattern do. as before, but the triangle's in a different spot. Okay. So you need to. What is it? You need to take the triangle to the white dot. I need to take the white dot to the triangle. The white dot to the triangle. So where is the white dot? It's at the far left in the bottom right, or at the bottom left corner. Okay, far bottom left. And the triangle is? At the far right middle. Uh, which, which dot, if bottom is one? Uh, they're both in the... They're both two to the right. I don't think we have enough time. Oh no. Nah. Well, uh, what's time? Uh, that, there was only ten seconds left. Um, the best, I think the best way to do that is like if the bottom left dot is just one one, you know, X, Y. Yeah. Uh, so is that, there's like a maze that you have to guide me through for that? Is yeah, that how that so, works? so I have, I have the walls drawn in here. Oh, that sounds incredibly hard to convey. Yeah. Uh, I mean, once I know where, you know, where the white dot is and where the triangle is, I can pretty easily tell you, you know, go over, uh, you know, however many and up however many. Alright. This fourth one only has three modules, so I'm, I'm gonna try that one. I was hoping to get three bombs successfully defused. Oh god, it's only got three minutes. Okay, we can do this. Um, oh crap, there's, there's the maze and the Simon Says. Okay. Um, uh, the Simon Says is flashing blue. Uh, there are no vowels. Okay. No vowels, flashing blue, okay, yellow. Alright. Blue, green. Yellow, green. Yellow, green. Blue, green, red. Yellow, green, blue. Uh, green, blue. Blue, green, red, green. Yellow, green, blue, green. Oh god, there's more. Blue, green, red, green, red. Yellow, green, blue, green, blue. Alright, it's diffused. Alright, there's another lambda. There's the right half of a capital R. There's an X with an I through it and the copyright symbol. Okay. Copyright symbol. Alright. X with an I. Alright. Half an R. And the right. lambda. Alright, we've got the maze. Okay. So do you need to know where the the green dots are, or right. the other I, stuff? Or? I need to know where the green dots are, because that corresponds to which maze it is. Alright. X is first, right? Right. Um, so we've got a green dot at 4-1. And another one at three four. Four one and three four. Uh, you sure about that? Yeah. Four one and three four. Like over four and up one? Over four and on the first. Oh crap! I'm going from the top. Sorry. So oh. it's so it's four six, I guess, and three three. Okay. Going from the bottom. Okay. And where's the white dot? White dot is in two six. And where's the triangle? Four five.
Okay, so you can just, it's just like one dot between them, right? Yeah. So you can just move right two dots. All right, then down? Yeah. All right, good, because there's only 20 seconds left. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that means a nightmare. All right. Unless there's more modules, I think I understand the basics of all of them, though, so that's... There are... One, two, three... There's about five other modules we haven't seen yet. Oh, crap. Oh, yeah. there's a section three that's higher difficulty. Do you want to try one of the section three ones? Let's see. What's section three? Uh, it says section three, moderate. We've got a hidden message, something's different, one giant leap... Fair game, pick up the pace two. No room for error in eight minutes. Uh, not pick up the pace two. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try something's different. Sure. Do these wires look different to you? Does this bomb look exploded to you? That's the <laughs> hint text. All right. Ramp up of difficulty is a bit faster than I expected, but... Oh, there's stripes on the wires now. Okay. Are they vertical? Yeah. Yeah. So this is... This has a one, two, three, four oval Venn diagram. So I need to know for each wire. So wait, wait, wait. These wires aren't like the other. Some have stripes. That makes it completely different. Da -da -da -da. Look at each wire. If there's an LED... There's an LED above the wire and a space for a star symbol below the wire. Yeah. So for each wire, okay, wow, this is crazy. So for the first wire, yeah, uh, is there an LED? No. Does it have a star? No. Does it have red coloring? Yes. Does it have blue coloring? No. Okay, so it only has red coloring. Yep. Uh, S. Cut the wire if the last digit of the serial number is even. That's incredibly complicated. It's <laughs> odd, so don't cut it. So don't cut it. All right. Next wire. Um, have, no light, no, light? no star, red, okay. white. Red and white? Yeah. I don't have anything here for white. <laughs> uh, red and white. Is that different from the other wire that's just solid red? Yeah. It looks like a candy cane. Uh, there's nothing here about white. Each wire may be striped with multiple colors. Oh, okay. So it's just red. No LED and no star? Well, it's red and white, but yeah. Right. The only colors that matter are red and blue. Oh. So I just uh, ignore the ones without... Oh, what do I do? So, for this wire, we cut the wire at the last digit somewhere near it. Serial number is even, so we're not going to cut this one either. Alright. Uh, this one's solid white, no light, no star. Cut the wire. All right, now we've got white and blue, with the LED. The LEDs lit up. No star. So it's blue, and it has an LED. Yep. P. Cut the wire if the bomb has a parallel port. Uh. Nope. So don't cut it. Right. All right. So now there's uh, white and red. Okay. I wonder how many people won't know what a parallel port is. <laughs> yeah. Does it have a star or an LED? Uh, it has an LED. Okay. So LED is on, and it's red. Cut the wire if the bomb has two or more batteries. Uh, yes. All right, now it's just red, no LED, but with a star. Okay. Red with a star. Cut the wire. All right, that one's diffused. That took us three minutes. Oh my god. Um, all right, we got six wires, horizontal, no stripes. Right. We've got red, we've got black, white, uh, yellow, blue. Okay, if there is exactly one yellow wire and more than one white wire... Yep. Cut the fourth wire. All right. The lights are going out in the room. <laughs> um... It's not the bomb, though. All right, so we've got a keypad thing again. It says one. Okay. Uh, press the button in the second position. All right. 
One. What's the sound? One. You there? Yeah. It says one. Oh, it still says one? Yeah. Okay. Uh, press the button labeled four. Alright. Four. Uh, again, press the button labeled four. Alright. One. Uh, press the button in the second position. Alright. Two. And press the button labeled four. Alright. You couldn't hear, but there's a red light and like a loud alarm clock sound going off since the timer went past one. I guess that's how they tried to distract you. We had 40 seconds left. Those yeah, that striped wire thing is crazy. Yeah, you should see the Venn diagram. <laughs> it sounds scary. Do you want to do one more or call it quits? Yeah, I'm down for one more. All right. Do we want a hidden message, one giant leap, or fair game? Try a hidden message. Alright, information that can be obscured in ways that are time consuming to code. <laughs> uh, that sounds. Well, they all sound scary, so whatever. <laughs> we got five minutes and three modules, so. It's probably just new modules that we haven't seen. It's cool they tried to do extra stuff to distract you, like. There was some weird stuff going on in the room. Alright, so we've got six wires white, yellow, blue, lots of whites. White, yellow, six wires? Yeah. White, yellow, blue, lots of whites. If there are no red wires, cut the last wire. Alright. Uh, that wasn't the right one. Oh. Were they horizontal or vertical? Horizontal. Oh, that wasn't the right one? No. Yeah. Last one is in bottom, right? Say again? Last one is in the bottom, right? Yeah. Oh, is there exactly one yellow wire? There's... yeah. Oh, I'm supposed to get the fourth wire on that. Oh. Alright, now it's diffused. Um, oh god, what? We've got a ham radio thing. It says Damn. TX. 3.505 megahertz. Okay, this is Morse code. Uh, interpret the signal from the flashing light using the Morse code chart to spell one of the words in the table. Oh my god. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, so there's a blinking light, and it goes... Oh, uh, how am I even gonna... Oops, I pressed a button. <laughs> so, um... Didn't give me a strike, though. How do I read... A short, a short blink is a dot, and a long blink is a dash. Alright. Dot, or dash, dot, 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 blank. for it to reset. Oh. Dash dot 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 I is it resetting when it stops? No blinking? it's it's gonna be it's gonna be a five letter word. Uh and it I'm says there's a sure long I can read that. There's a long gap in between the end of the word and the start of the word. Crap. How much time do we have? Two minutes. Okay, we can do this. Uh, let's try this other thing first. Okay. We're gonna blow up. There's another new one. Okay. It's a keypad that says read, and then there are buttons for you, you are, next, like, what, your. Okay. Read this. Okay, what's the top of this say? Read. Read. Okay. Read the display and use step one to determine which button label to read. Using this button label, use step two to determine which button to push. Repeat until the module has been disarmed. So the first one says read. Yeah. So you're going to press the middle one on the right. Are you sure? I think so. Did you get a strike? Yeah. Now it says first at the top. Okay. Read the display and use step one to determine which button to label. Which bu Using this button label, you step two to determine which... Oh, okay. Okay, okay. So it says first? Yeah. What's the top right button say? Ready. 
So you're gonna press a button that says yes. Uh, or, there's oh. there's no yes. Okay, I'm gonna go down the list and you just hit the first one I get to. All right. Yes. Okay. What? Middle. Left. Press. Right. Blank. All right. Got it. Okay. So that should be it. Your. Oh God. Okay. We blew up. up. <sighs> <laughs> Not ideal learning conditions. No. So I have a whole like half page grid. And the one on the top determines which button I... Alright, this button. one doesn't have Morse code. I've got a yellow detonate button. Okay. The button is blue. If there's more than one battery... Uh, is there more than one battery? Yes. Okay, if there's more than one battery on the bomb and the button says detonate, press and immediately release the button. Alright. Um, we've got the number game again. It's got four. Okay. Uh, press the button in the fourth position. Alright. One. Press the button labeled four. Alright. Four. Press the button labeled four. Alright. Four. Uh, again, the button labeled four. Uh, that gave me a strike. It says four again. This is back to the start. Okay. Uh, fourth position. Two. Fourth position. One. Fourth position. One. Fourth position. All right. Four. Uh, fourth position. It's not working. Uh, All right, let's try the this. This other thing is new. Um, so let's do this. It's like a. It's an LED with five letters and five rows of arrows up and down. Five letters and five rows of arrows. And a submit button. Okay. It's the password. So the buttons, the, the buttons above and below each letter will cycle through the possibilities for that position. Only one combination of the available letters will match the password below. Okay. This is tough. So we basically have to look at the letters in each position and figure out what the word might be. All right. The B, the first set is D S. X, Z, E, or Q. Okay. I think only E. Oh, E, e or S? Alright. Second position is L, Y, T, Z, A, K. Okay. Do you need the third position? Yeah. S I U L W F. Okay, go to the next one. P S N L A B P. Oh no. Okay. Last one. Uh. Sure. L Z Y N A V L. What were the options for the second one? L K A Z T Y. This is this is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> there's a, there's a, like a whole grid of words that I have to look through and figure out based oh, on geez. the options for each letter. This would be so much easier if I could like mark it. Yeah, it's like oh. if, if I could mark it and oh, it did explode. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, shit. Oh, I know what I can do next time. Um, let's try this one giant leap one. Okay. Alright. Uh, we've got a keypad. 
Um, we've got a pilcro backwards. We've got an X with an I in it. Upside down question mark and an upside down nine. Okay, so nine. All right. The backwards P. All right. Uh, X with an I. All right. And question mark. Um. Oh crap! Is the radio again? Um, we've got Simon says blinking blue. Okay. Second. There is a vowel. Okay, blinking blue, and there is a vowel. Uh, red. All right. Blue red. Red blue. I guess I got a strike, so I guess it is different. Oh, you know what? Do we have a strike? All right, how many? I have yeah, two strikes changes. now. Okay, it changes based on what strikes we have. Oh crap! I All right, we've got blue, that. red, red. Okay, uh, it's gonna be red, green, green. Red, green, green. Red, blue, red, red, yellow. Red, green, green, blue. Blue, red, red, yellow, yellow. Red, green, green, blue, blue. All right, that's defused. I've got four vertical wires with stripes. The first one is white with no dots, no stars. White with no dots, no stars. Uh, cut it. All right. We've got red with a dot, red and white. With the LED? Yeah. Okay. Uh, red with the LED. B. Cut the wire if the bomb has two or more batteries. Uh, no battery. Or er, one battery. Okay. Don't cut? No. Alright, and then we've got a blue and red wire with no dots, no stars. Blue and red wire with no dots, no stars. Blue and red. Uh, cut the wire if the last digit of the serial number is even. It's odd, so don't cut. Right. Blue, red, one star, no dot. Blue, red, one star. Uh, Alright, blue, red, star. It must be cut because it's not deactivated yet. Cut the wire if the bomb has a parallel port. I think that's a parallel port. It's a display port, but it's not disarmed yet. So this one only has one strike apparently. Or wait, no, I got two from before. All right. Wait, I don't. That doesn't make sense though. It didn't have a parallel port, and I. I don't know. We must have had to cut one of the earlier ones, but. Oh well. Mm. Oh crap! We've got Morse code. Let's just try to get Morse code. Okay. I I don't know how that's ever gonna work. Like, how do I know when it starts? Um, all it says is there's a long gap before the word starts. Okay. Um, I'm not sure what a long gap is. There's seven units, so the length of seven dots. Okay. Dot, 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 dot. Dot, dot. Dot, dash. Dot, 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 dash, dot, dot. I really don't think this is going to work. How do you communicate that? Uh, I think that was all of it, but I'm sure there's an extra dot or dash or something there's, in there. Cause yeah, because there's, there's got to be five letters. Five. How many, how many unit, like, characters is that? Uh, it, I mean, it depends on... Some, some letters are like, like, E is just one dot. Let's try this LED thing. Um, it's one of those five-letter things. The LED thing. Yeah, that password thing. Oh god. Okay. Yeah. Hold on. Okay. Man, this gets really hard really fast. What's the the first letter? Uh, K H Z W Q B. Say again. K 
K H Z W Q B. Okay. Second row is C N R T I J. Okay. J Q I T K W J. Okay. Try it. Try the password right. W R I T. Wait, bright? R I T E. Oh, right. Light. I was looking for R. Alright, that was tolerable. Um, we've got press. We've got a button that says press and it's blue. Okay. Uh, how much time do we have? Uh, two and a half minutes. Okay. Uh, button that says press. We're not gonna win because of that Morse code, but. You can disarm the rest of it. Button is white, so more than two batteries. Are there more than two batteries on the bomb, or there's one? Uh, more than two. If there are more than two batteries on the bomb, and there is a lit indicator with the label FRK... Uh... No FRK. Okay. Okay, so we gotta do the press and hold. It's white. Uh, release when the countdown timer has a one. Ah, crap. Oh. Okay, um... Morse code? Uh, yeah. Alright. Dot 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 dash dot 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 wait dot like what does it mean when there's a space but like not the reset space? That's probably between letters. Oh. Um I'm just gonna wait. Dot 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 wait now it's resetting. Dot 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 dash dot dot dash dot 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 dash dot 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 that was all of it I think okay let me see what I can do here I think that's right. It blinks so fast, it's really hard to get the amount of dots right. Do we have time to have it go through one more time? Uh, probably not, there's only 30 seconds left. How do I even input, like, I input a frequency? Yeah. So like, what are you, are you trying to spell a password or something? You, it, basically I have a, you know, it maps a word to a frequency. Ah. Well, we've got 12 seconds. Wow. That's uh, a shame. It's not hard to, you know, this is not hard except for communicating the actual Morse code. Yeah, I... I just don't know how you're expected to be able to watch that, because, like, talking distracts me from, like, reading the dots, and they're yeah. so fast. Kaboom. Yeah. Well, that's a shame. Oh, there's this free play that... Oh, that's what the hardcore mode is. There's this free play mode that lets you pick your amount of time, amount of modules. Needy. Needy modules cannot be designed by your house record. Oh, neat. It has this estimated difficulty in free play mode. Well, I think that'll wrap it up. Thank you for being my assistant. Yeah, not a problem. I wish we could have disarmed a few more bombs. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that Morse code thing is brutal. I don't... Yeah. I don't know how I'm going to be able to do that. That and the maze. Oh, yeah. Though the maze is... It doesn't... It didn't see that bad that one time once we both got it. It's just... Figuring that out was pretty awkward. Yeah, that was pretty fun. That was. Well, that should be really interesting, like, once you're, once you're kind of educated about how all the modules work. Yeah, I think... Should, like, really bang through a few bombs. Yeah. I think we died on pretty much every new module. <laughs> At least everything past the first few. Yeah. <sighs> but yeah, that is... Keep talking and nobody explodes, though. We kind of exploded a lot, but... 
<laughs> Even though we kept talking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. Good times, though.